San Francisco. It's the Cube covering Conga Connect West 2018. Brought to you by Conga. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We are at the Thirsty Bear at Salesforce Dreamforce. 170,000 people, we're at a small side event put on by Conga, it's called Conga Connect West. I think they had 3,000 people last year, if you can see behind us, the Thirsty Bear is packed to the gills, they're here for three days with free food, free drink, the cube, and some entertainment. But as you know, we like to get the smartest people we can, help get the knowledge from them, and we're really excited to have a super smart person from 451, she's Cheryl Kingstone, the VP of Research for Customer Experience and Commerce at 451. Cheryl, great to see you. Nice to see you too, and so thanks for inviting me. Oh, absolutely, so you've been coming to this thing you said for a number of years, just kind of, every time I come to Dreamforce, it's like, oh my goodness, okay, how can so it get any bigger? I can think back to the year 2000, when when I did road shows with Salesforce, and we couldn't even get 40 people in the room. Oh my and goodness. And now we have, what, 170,000? That, that was kind of the dark, the dark and... Uh, that was when we were convincing people days. that SaaS was the way to go, and everyone was like, wait, what? Right, SaaS? when ASP was not average oh, selling God. price, but no, application service, service provider. provider. Absolutely, good. absolutely. All right, so let's jump into it. So now it's 2018, time flies. Digital transformation is all the rage. And I know you do a lot of work on digital transformation. So where do people get started? What is digital transformation? Yeah. You know, how do you help yeah. people kind of, you know, I got to do it, the boss wants me to do it, my competitors are doing it, yeah. where do they go? And, and here's the thing, you could say digital transformation has been pretty much evolving for two decades. It really is leveraging software. But what's really changed is digital transformation is more than just an IT strategy, right? So digital transformation is a business strategy. It's a culture. It's understanding how to leverage these new, more modern technologies so that we're reducing customer friction points or empowering employees or helping our partners sell more. So it's really more of an overarching strategy instead of independent, I'm going to go out and get software A versus software B. Right, and there's so many components of it, and not only the technology piece, but as we always see it shows, also the people and the yeah. process. The technology by itself is just another tool. Yeah, and we've been also talking in decades around people, process, and technology, and one of the things I've said for a long time is what's missing in that is the overlying or underlying data element of it. And that's another thing that's changed, is what are we doing to harness the power of the data that we get through these digital transformation processes that we're undertaking. Right. And data is absolutely critical. But data by itself is just data, right? To turn it in for information, you got to have context. Yeah. You got to have the right data to the right person at the right time to make the right decision. Yeah, but it, it, I've said all along, it's not about he who holds the right data, the most data, it's really who has the right data, so right. absolutely. Right, so as you look at some of the, the, the significant kind of glacial shifts in terms of infrastructure, in terms of CPU and speed of CPUs compared again to 2000, you know, compared to the data that we have, the storage uh, economics, and obviously cloud. So now finally, it seems like we're getting to uh, the tipping point where you've got enough horsepower, you've got enough storage and compute and networking that you can start to implement some of these things that were just a pipe dream when you couldn't get 40 people yeah, in well, the room. Yeah, you well, know, so compute has definitely changed and it's one of the things that's changed with respect to machine learning. Um, the storage, because if you really think about intelligence, it's all about making sure you have all of that data. So yes, absolutely, that's changed. But one of the things that we really have to understand, um, and at 451 we just launched a lot of research around foresight, right? And it's so about, um, hindsight is 2020 and foresight is 451, right? So it is all about looking more forward. Right, right. And one of the things that we talk about is just that. What are we doing with invisible infrastructure? Because no one really cares about what the infrastructure it is today. It's what's the intelligence that's coming out of it. So our four themes are around invisible infrastructure, pervasive intelligence, contextual experiences, and then the ability to deal with the risk. So those four things come together to create foresight, and we right. actually launched that this week at our own conference, HCTS. I, I used to joke, we used to, we used to operate on a sample of historic data, right? Yeah. You take, take a little bit of something that already happened, as opposed to now you actually have the opportunity to get 
all the data and you have the opportunity to get it in real time and have that feed your decision making processes. Well, what's really changed is we're no longer working from just operational data, we're bringing a lot more of that behavioral data that has to be streamed in real time and that's the architectural changes that have cha that has shifted. Right. And the other thing you have to do with the infrastructure changes is if you're really making a decision, you have to make that decision on the edge. So I think uh, Mark, Mark Benioff is going yes, to start speaking. We're going to have to. So Cheryl, it's great to off. catch up, and uh, we'll see you next time. Not a problem. Thank you. Mark Benioff's coming on. Thanks for watching theCUBE. You know, giving back is a part of our Salesforce DNA.